y'all welcome back to the channel I'm Gemini and if you are new here then a very warm welcome to you I'm sure you can already tell by the title of this video we are doing a creative sim for my LP which is life on the island I was super excited if you can't already tell so yeah I guess I'm just gonna jump right into it uh, basically, you will not see names, aspirations, or traits in this video because at the time of making these sims, I had not made a decision on which route I wanted to take with my LP. So, I'm going to go ahead and tell you those things. Nalu, which is this handsome man we are making right now, is going to be active, bro, and a child of the ocean. And he will have the beach life aspiration as well. Uh, Nalu. Nalu, Nalu, however you want to pronounce it. I'm going to pronounce it Nalu, Nalu Ryder. His name means wave or surf. He was born in Sulani, but relocated due to an eruption. You guys uh, will understand here in a moment. Basically, Sulani experienced a very, very bad volcano eruption, and it kind of destroyed most of the structures in Sulani so all of the islanders residents uh, vacationers had to leave the island and basically they are slowly trying to rebuild the structures so people can begin living there again and vacationers can come and their economy can uh, raise and such and such I don't know I'm not in any way, <laughs> shape, or form, an expert at the economy. But Nalu is a child of the ocean and he's just always been drawn to the water. He loves the water, he loves everything to do with it, and he decided that he wanted to help rebuild Sulani. So, we are going to meet our other Sim here shortly. And I guess I'll go ahead and explain a little bit about her so when you see her, you kind of understand where we're coming from. Her name is Hokulani Kahale. Uh, she will be a vegetarian, good, and she is a child of the islands as well. And she does have a successful lineage. Her name means royal or majesty. And Hokulani was adopted at birth. Uh, her adoptive parents actually had no clue about her heritage or her background or anything like that the only thing they had was her name so they chose to keep that for her sorry guys if you can hear that there are sirens going down our road it's probably going to get loud before it gets quieter better before it, or it's going to get worse before it gets better <laughs> anyways so um, her adoptive parents just left her original name with her so she would have a piece of that with her if she ever wanted to find you know anything regarding her past so that's actually what she did she found out that Kahale came from Sulani and that she found out when she was born um, there was this huge volcano eruption and everybody had to leave the island and she's just very curious about where she came from so a little background on her basically she kind of had a, a weird childhood she was very sheltered and wasn't allowed to experience a lot of things that you would normally experience as a child such as swimming in water um, she never really did question it because she was raised that way so it just felt normal but as she got older she kind of you know was curious she was always drawn to the water and but she could never actually enjoy those urges so you know she never questioned it up until she got a little bit older she graduated high school and she was like you know what I want to go to the ocean I want to experience this I'm going to take a cruise and that is where Hokulani and Nalu's paths cross they are both on this cruise ship and they meet each other and they just kind of click something about them clicks he is attracted to her like he is attracted to the water he has no clue why and she's just looking for somebody that could be a connection to her past she's just grasping at straws so they just connect 
and they intertwine and they decide let's bunk together and go to Solani and help clean the beaches, help build Solani up, help bring the tourists and, and the finances and the families back to Solani. Uh, let's touch roots. Let's get back to home ground. You know, let's learn who we are, who we came from. Because neither of them were born, were raised in Solani. They have no clue about their heritage. They have no clue about all these things that come with islands and Sulani and the mysteries and just everything. So yeah, um, it's definitely going to be a wild ride. Uh, these guys have a lot to figure out about their lives, about who they are, uh, where they're going to go. I don't know. They're not together. They are strictly roommates at this moment. They basically just barely even know each other. So I don't know. I don't know what's about to happen, guys. <laughs> and I'm super excited to find out. Uh, the next video that will come out is actually this rebuild of their humble abode. So definitely look for that. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. And I hope you guys definitely follow these guys and their stories. I'll see you guys next time. Bye, y'all.